I'm gonna just say it right now. Sorry for the background noise, real quick. We this is part two of Kanye West is tweaking. I don't know why this nigga is tweaking. We all know he got music coming. Every nigga seen the documentary. He got some shit coming. Okay. So with that being said, this nigga just tweaking. He did the little wild eyes matter. He said the nigga at Louis Vuitton allegedly took Virgil's life. This nigga tweaking. And instead of doing multiple videos, which I could have done if I had time, I ain't gonna lie. I'ma just condense everything into one, you know what I'm saying? Help y'all niggas out. Y'all probably seen all the rest of the videos. Y'all don't need that from me, so I'ma give y'all one on the on the tip now. Kanye tweaking. I don't know what the fuck wrong with this nigga. He tweaking, but Listen, I'm gonna just read all the rants and I'm gonna give you my little statement. So, Meek Mill unleashes on Kanye, crazy and lame. Meek Mill entered the chat with a scathing message that shook things up as he mentioned Jack Harlow, Justin the boy and Vory. Also, why the fuck, why do you give a fuck about Justin the boy, Kanye? But anyways. For the first time, we're seeing Kanye go toe to toe with his peers. The rap icon uh, typically has it out for brands he's worked with or his ex-wife and former in-laws yet today we're seeing west square off of the likes of diddy boosie badass and all me from will he shared several text message exchange with diddy where he called his friend a fed for speaking out against white lives matter diddy has often defended west against public uh condemnation the f Big ass word, but after stating that he didn't support the Paris Fashion Week message, he wasn't happy. As KS continues to erupt on social media, thanks to West's latest rant, Meek Mill jumped into the dialogue with a lengthy post he expressed with his disappointment in West and mentioned Justin LeBoy, Jack Harlow, and Vory. Let's go, Meek Mill. I used to listen to Ye every night and in jail for motivation on God, Meek wrote. And came home and watched him shit on my name and brand like nothing. I ain't saying nothing. But I been knew you was on that nerd-ish. On that nerd-ish. Trying to shit on a street and a street nigga. You just said it to boosting. It hurts my heart even though some of y'all. Some of this y'all is crazy and lame. I don't need no verse from no inwards. Because I've been hot since 13. Hey, Justin the boy, don't invite me to none of them weird ass parties with bro. He continued before directing attention back to West. It's like you hate your own people. He then called out Ye for not promoting Vori's album. After all that work he did for you and he looked up to you, Meek added that Ye made sure you said Jack Harlow was the hottest in Kentucky, overlooked, overlooked EST, and Vori. So let's talk about it. So if you didn't hear the Diddy shit, so basically Diddy went on Breakfast Club. This nigga was defending Kanye for the whole My Lives Matter bullshit. Yeah, he was calling them a fed. Diddy's like, we should talk about this to you soon. He's like, hey, don't hurt me. Da 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 da. You scare me. You a fed or whatever. So Diddy like, see you soon. You know, yeah, be like, is that a threat or a promise? You know, so it's, it's weird. Cause yeah, when it's like Pete Davidson, you know, none of them street boys like he he be he be thugging like I'm J D nigga. Like, I'm JD, I'm, a, yeah, I'm from Chicago, Larry Hoover. Like, this nigga, he going brazy. But, like, when it's like a Diddy or a Miko Boosie, he go like, hey, nigga, I'm a civilian. Hey, what, you gonna do what? You a fed, you this and that, you that and this. Like, and yeah, like, he's still talking his itch, but it kind of switches between the person, and it depends on their background, because he know he can't out muscle certain niggas that's cut from a certain cloth. And the fact he was playing with Boosie, how he was playing with Boosie, I'm like, er, nigga, Boosie? Bossa bad ass. I know he got Boosie bad ass, but Lil Bossa nah. You can't talk to Lil Bossa not like that. We, we not doing all that. So, you know, Meek said this stuff, and Meek is right, bro. It sounds like you hating on your people even more before this uh, slavery was a choice bullshit. It really looked like now you just hating on niggas just for being them. Again, if Boosie come from the hood, he gonna talk his hood nigga shit. That's his business. Same with Meek, that's his business. And that's not act like in hip hop. Being a street nigga ain't help, bro. Like, especially now. Like, the street niggas is winning right now. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the music and shit. So, yes, Meek is right. Meek has some stuff in him. And, hey, Meek has stayed quiet. And I do remember when Kanye was shitting on that nigga. Kanye just tweaking. He does this shit for attention. It is what it is. Kanye a nigga, bro. We can sit there and write that nigga off. Some niggas still gonna fuck with him. Some niggas still gonna do music with him. I just heard the little baby out of him. 
album. He shouted out doing music with Ye. Again, I don't know when the fuck that song was recorded, but like he did what he did. And then, what was I gonna say? You still gonna have niggas that's gonna do music with him. Niggas gonna hate him. You gonna do some less shit. Like you know what? That's not bad. That's why. I like, hey, listen. I might not agree with that nigga. He does some fuck shit. I still might call me a pair of Yeezys. I ain't gonna care with you. I ain't gonna lie. I might give me a pair of Yeezys. I'm not gonna lie. Nigga, the wave runners. I've been looking for those. I ain't gonna lie. They ain't gonna stop my ass from buying them wave runners. But he just does some shit. It was what it was. We was feeling like I said in the other one. We was feeling him when he was going against Pete. And Pete was getting tattoos over his kids. Um, like we was feeling him. Pete was doing too much, by the way. He should have. He still need to catch a fade with that nigga. I don't give a fuck. He need to catch a fade with that nigga. But we was feeling him, you know. The whole trying to get his family, but we was feeling. But then he goes left, and we just like, oh, nigga, we off you. Boy, you probably gonna do some bullshit, and we probably gonna fuck with him again. I'm not gonna lie. So then, this is the other end when he unloads on. <laughs> I don't know who Anna Wintour is. I don't really care. And you unloads on the Kardashians and more. So we gonna see. Yeah, but I don't know why the fuck you made a White Lives Matter shirt for a season nine of Easy Spanish. By, by the way, if he's actually selling that shit. He cries. I ain't gonna lie. While the controversial design received backlash of its own, it was Ye's social media ambushes on some of the fashion roads Lee that caused the most outrage on Thursday, October 6th. The this nigga, 40, God dang. The 45 year old designer of the anti by calling off famed Vogue editor in chief Anna Winter and her dolls, Gigi Hadid, Halle Berry, and more. Halle, nah, Halle, Haley B. Man. This nigga said Halle Berry. What? Ye shared a recent conversation he had with his publicist who urged the rapper not to publicly slander his good friend Anna. But in true Ye fashion, he did the exact opposite of what he was instructed to do. Gabrielle Carafa. Who the fuck is that? Gabriella Carifa Johnson. If you ain't black, I must have just mispronounced your name. And Gigi Hadid would not have been able to speak without Anne's blessing. He responded in the text message. He went on to slam the Vogue editor and models, as well as the Kardashians in his caption. I consider Anne to be an industry friend, he wrote. But all of her dolls had something to say. Connie sounded off. Connie, so Connie sound off in it, and there he added, it was cool for Gab to give her opinion on my art and say she didn't like it, but when I rebutted, I was made to be the bully and she allowed all of that but watch from the sidelines when the Kardashian kidnapped my children on her birth bro we back to this this nigga tweaking Ye's posts come just days after Gigi did and Hailey Bieber came to Vogue Journal uh bro Gabriella's defense after the rapper blasted her in an Instagram post suggesting that she is not fashionable enough to critique his work this nigga tweak. I don't know why he tweak like this. He go crazy. He tweak like this, man. Nah, honestly, I ain't in the fashion world. I don't really give a fuck. But this nigga just tweak. I don't know why he like this. But he just go crazy. Y'all niggas need to take the internet from that nigga. You need, you need to pot, have power outage on this household. Like, all this nigga. Like, hide your kids. Hide your wife. Like, lock up the doors. Like, all y'all niggas gotta go back to the flip phone age so this nigga can get his shit off. Like, it's ridiculous. Nah, first, I don't give a fuck about them. Don't really care about GG or D. But, like, they don't really give a fuck. I don't know who the fuck. Like, no disrespect. They ain't for me. This next one, though, is for me. You know, what he said about Kim and L. Okay. That nigga been tweaking. Plus, I think he buddy buddy with Ray J now. He's gonna be posing and shit. So, hey, we'll see what happens with that. But, so this last one. So, Kanye West admits he was jealous of Virgil Abloh over Louis Vuitton deal. Kanye says that he felt pain and jealousy when he heard Virgil had landed a position at Louis Vuitton. So, anyways, Kanye was recently reflected on Virgil Abloh being named the artistic director of Louis Vuitton menswear collection prior to his passing, admitting that he felt jealous of his long life collaborator, long time collaborator, which spoke about the late fashion designer during a new interview with the French outlet Click TV. Okay. 
For starters, EA claimed that he was initially offered a deal Virgil ended up Mexican. getting. Why didn't it? Sorry about that. For starters, EA claimed that he was initially offered a deal that Virgil ended up getting. No one knows I've been offered the deal by Bernard Arnold, Wes said. No one knows the deal was pulled. I used to call myself the Louis Vuitton Don. He added that Bernard's son, Alexander Durr, told him that Arnold never goes back on his word. Three months after that, they dropped the deal. Let's continue. He went on to admit that he felt a lot of pain and jealousy after learning Virgil was given the job. Virgil continued to work with Louis Vuitton until his death in November 2021 after a battle with cancer. The interview comes as West is facing a heap of backlash for wearing the White Lives Matter shirt during his Yeezy Season 9 show earlier this week. Numerous celebrities, like I stated, Dede, Bosi, and Jada Smith have criticized him for the move. And yeah, it could be pain, it could be jealousy that's fueling some of these rants. And why this nigga's going so hard and being mad at niggas, I would not be surprised, but this is yay. This nigga gonna run for president again. This nigga got some new music coming out like it's yay. This nigga been on this from this to when he grabbed the mic from Taylor at the little wall show and was going crazy. Like, this nigga just does this. This is his thing. He does this at this point. Is you really surprised? Hey, it is what it is. And at this point, I just got to look at this shit like, yo, we got to stop holding this nigga to the standard and stop fucking with him. Because the reason he keeps having this say so and it impacts us so much is because we fuck with him to this extent. And that's why. Well, yeah, man. It's yeah, it's him. He does this shit. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. And honestly, the sooner we stop like looking at this nigga and putting him on this pedestal, the quicker we'll stop giving a fuck what he's saying. And he can do his little rambling and nod offs and all that little other bullshit he does. And that shit can be dead. But hey, what do you feel about this little situation here? What's your thoughts on it? Put your comments down below, check out the links in the description. I literally told three stories and I'm tired. I ain't even take a swig of water, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should be proud of me. Hey, little break does good for the body. But anyway, what do y'all think? Put your comments down below, check out the links in the description. I got some other videos for y'all to check on. Besides all that, you already know what it is. So, friendly neighborhood KA signing off for today. The black TJ did while I'm doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you're trying to hit a little bit more. And I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace out. Aye.